YouTube audience, we might have big news for you and a big change for Frosty Life, something that we've been trying to do for a long time. Check this out, this is exciting. I'm so excited, you know why? Because we might, might get a lake home. So the process has been both exciting and frustrating because most well, almost every property we've gone to look at, we've driven away going, absolutely no way. I'm not looking for a place that I have to work on. We did that when we were younger. My dad invested in places that we'd work on. Um, I'm too busy making YouTubes and flying airplanes and having fun in life to be reconstructing an old cabin. We could, I suppose, and we may have to get something that takes some work. You know, I'm looking at every option possible. But we went out and looked at these places. Check it out. Foxy's Bar and Grill. This is the one she said you can pull up on your boat. That's fun. And there's the Foxy Lady right there. Right there, there she is. Foxy Lady. And this one's the CIC too? It is, yes. Turn left, then you will arrive at your destination. What's the name of this? This reminds me of Girl Scout camp. Oh, really? No. Vacation Airs Public Phone. I don't think that's the name of the place. She knows where she's going. We'll follow her. Way cute. Right in the woods. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. How much? Yeah. <laughs> We, okay, here's the story. We've been out searching for lake homes for a couple of years, and we've been um, we've had investments that are now ready. They're ripe for the picking, and we're going to turn that investment into the next investment, and that would be a lake home. And in Minnesota, lake homes do not go for cheap. things about the lake this is potato lake chain they are connected by rivers they're connected by rivers so it's really cool because you can go from lake to lake on your boat through rivers and uh, there's a, a bar and grill that you can pull up to on your boat and go out to dine and have a drink sleepwalk and you'd be out on the beach. But it wasn't, it wasn't a cleaned out beach. Okay, we're coming to Island Lake. We turned in a mile. This is Camping and Breeze RV Resort. Which is something. the one we're looking at? No, that we were just oh. driving by. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Island Bay Drive. Island Bay Drive right turn. Is that not this one? That's Township Road. Seasonal RV site available at the Pine Hollow Resort. Turn right. Turn right. Then you will arrive at your destination. Oh cool. It's a uh, down underneath it's a river. <laughs> Well, this is where it says to go. No, just go. I know, this is, I've been here before and it was in the winter time. I, this is the right spot, I believe, because uh, it splits into Island Bay Drive and then Island Point or something. Okay. So, All right. I can squeeze in, I'll, I'll back up, let, let you by. keep the riffraff out. It's like a gated community, which is yeah. It's nice down in here. Mm -hmm. you have Fish cleaning house. 
you have arrived. All right, this is number four. Not gonna happen. Nope, floor. Floor problems, it has foundation problems. It has a huge foundation. It isn't just a subfloor issue. It's, um, it is. It's cracking and it, they tried to screw some screws into it and it's like, no, they are not. just never going to sell that place. No, it needs to be torn down. Yeah, just start over. Decorated, Put a manufactured home on it. Decorated cute, but it's, it's bad, 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 bad shape. Okay, there's a bridge, and I saw a boat go under it here oh, cool. by uh, building number three. We are um, leaving number three, but really liked it. I'd like to know more on it. It's 121. It's been on the market for 200 and something days. <clears throat> it comes with, like Karen said, with Turn the dock, right. the boat lift, and everything. And that's a that's a big deal. That's worth a couple thousand. And with, it comes with most furnishings as well. Um, there's a place for the camper. There's a plug-in on the outside. Well, getting the camper in there could be tough. Yeah, we'd have to grade the driveway, and if the I don't know if there's rules against that on because you're close to a lake, but we would definitely need to figure out a way to get the camper through that yeah. steep grade. Um, that would be a challenge, but that's something we can research. If that's, I would definitely put the camper there because it's just a one bedroom, and we'd need a little more space for visitors. The, the next door neighbors looked a little on the Hickville side, but it was kind of Hicksville there. It really was. Yeah. It, I mean, they were watching TV on the deck. That's just Which what I'm I think that's kind of cool. It could be fun yeah. neighbors. But it could be fun neighbors. I'm not going to go. Well, they were watching a sport, so yeah, I suppose. That's true. Um, and nice lake, though. This is really a nice lake. Really vacation y lake. I mean, that's. Yeah. It's got. In one quarter mile, turn left, then arrive at destination. Appeal. But, you know, I see I see more work on this place than the first one. Yes, absolutely. A lot uh, more work. Upkeep. Which is funny because the other place is so much bigger. But the, this one is... It, it, it was pretty well updated. But I think, like, was, the floor seemed to not be glued down good turn enough. Left. Right. Something, when you stepped on that floor, it was... It sank in. Now, when we went to go test it, it didn't do it, but when you were just walking normally without trying to make too much of an effort of ever, it was definitely I'm, sinking in, which makes you wonder what's under that floor. Right, what's the subfloor like? What's the, what's, what's the problem? So Karen and I have been really trying to reinvest our money into a lake home, but they're just too expensive. So we started buckling down and looking at many options, whether it be park models or a camper on a lot. Um, and, and there's just not a whole lot of options when you have the budget like what we have. What is this? I don't know, but this is actually a little road that goes through here. It's for like servicing or who knows what. So is this our parking spot? You park anywhere in here. Yeah. Oh, there's a sidewalk that goes that side too. Yeah, I see that. It's great landscape. So can you put the camper here? Or wouldn't you be able to put the camper in here? I could get it fit wise, yeah. It, it fit. But I don't know if I'd put the camper here because there's plenty of space. Mm, true. I don't think we'd need a camper to be here. Ample parking space. Very nice yard with a mowed lawn. And uh, it looked like tough grass, so it, it looked like it could grow for a month and not always have to be mowed. Um, first impressions, got plenty, plenty of room. The water was shut off, so I couldn't see the quality, but it looks like it's on city water and sewer. Uh, they run the heat all year, and they keep it at 48 in the winter if they're not there. And so it does not have to be winterized. It's an all-year home, and uh, no garage. Had a shed. Karen saw the shed. Was, was there like a lawnmower in there? There was a lawnmower in there. Okay. Just yeah. little fishing things. Nothing much in there at all. Okay, and then 
and um, had a fire pit and uh, the only thing that kind of concerning is the long dock and a floating dock so you'd have would you have to take out all those sections every year so what what was your concerns about the dock just that it's so long and you really better not drink wine and walk on it <laughs> You'd get tossed into the drink if you... It was a small lake. This, which, and there wasn't much activity on the lake, which makes me want to, you know, it's a Saturday and there's no activity on the lake. Yeah. And I would say it would definitely need a canoe for that lake. It just seems like a calm, relaxing, canoe-ish, canoe kayaking kayak. type of lake, which is okay with me. Yeah, yeah. It's a big church. I um, like that. I don't mind a small lake because if I want a bigger lake to go do stuff, sports, yeah. we'd pull it off and go. That's true. And it's That's not true. that far away. In fact, we passed the lake already that you'd go to. It's a okay. long lake. And so that... That's good to know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you'd pull... Like if we're going to do a day of kneeboarding, we'd probably plan it in the and morning and go. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Oh, don't quote me. Great for photo, and photo opportunities. There was a lot of really neat photo opportunities at on the dock or around on the, dock the yard. And around the yard. Yeah. Wow. Very, Very nice. Much. I like the vegetation of the long dock. It's like you go through different rooms. Mm -hmm. You know how we talk about rooms and yards? Like you go through the reed section and then there is a lily pad section. Yeah. And then you're back into the reeds and grasses and the water was very clear. Um, I saw a fish off the end of the dock and minnows. Um, what else about the house? Was there anything? Very well clapped and clean and a dining room table to die for and we should write that that we want that in the disclosure if we Absolutely. decide to buy it because yeah, it was really nice. We want it included. Yeah. I paint. I mean, no, it was move in ready. It really yeah, was. Yeah. Much Absolutely. better kitchen than our kitchen at home. Three bedrooms, uh, plenty of room, plenty of room in the closets, metal racks in the closets. The furnace looked pretty new. I'd like to mm -hmm. know what year it was. Heating and air conditioning, both for sure. <laughs> the fireplace was <laughs> uh, gas. Gas. But it was nice. It oh, was yeah. Nice. And that would throw out the heat. I mean, if we want a fire, we'll go outside and have it. Um, a lot of nice decorating opportunities. Sheet rock. Yeah, decorating. Like what? No, I'm just. It was just clean and it was already just to put your own personal touches on it. Yeah. So. Uh, I give it a thumbs up for sure. Yeah. There's nothing I didn't like, and if it's a small lake, if I can accept that, to me it's I can pull the tent, the boat out ten feet, the fish off. That, that's all I really. I don't have to be jetting around fast all the time. Oh, and that crystal clear beach way across the way, you can see it from the property, and it was definitely a sandy beach. It was really nice. With like we only have a certain budget. And we've been looking for pretty hard for the last few years to no avail. It's been a frustrating process, but we may have actually found a place that we can afford.